are. I have a new nuke, um, putting it in the horizontal hive. Um, again, they're from Georgia. The bees that I got last year were Michigan bees, but I got them so late in the season, even though I was feeding them heavy, I just didn't get enough time to feed them enough to get them through the winter. It was, um, by January they were gone. When I came out to feed them in January, they were, they were already gone. Um, I don't know. The hive was full, absolutely full. The population was big. That's one of the things with the horizontal hive I've noticed. Um, it's very good at building population. So I guess I'll have to make some decisions on what to do with, with this hive this summer. Um, what, I, what I'm doing is I have the brood, um, I'll show you actually. These are the brood panels for a regular brood box. So I'm hoping that they will brood in here and I will just go with a straight brood box. If I can create brood in here and make regular honey boxes, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Especially if this box is so good at creating population. <laughs> Wanna see something funny? Look at all those bees. Got all those extra hanger honors, so <laughs> got some extra ones. They're already climbing in there. So I've been getting texts all day about when these bees were to arrive. They were supposed to arrive early afternoon. No, they didn't arrive until 6.30 tonight so now it's almost 8 p.m. thank goodness it turned out to be a decent day <clears throat> it was uh, it was raining all day so I guess it was kind of a good thing they didn't come when they were supposed to get this queen unhooked here have a push pin to secure her little box. Food out of here. Just don't have enough hands. I see her. Alright, kids, there you are. The beasts are loose. See if we can get them to move a little bit. The lighting isn't so well. She's red with mark or marked with red this year.
taking the cork out of the bottom so that all they have to contend with is the sugar. So now there's just the sugar in the bottom. guys aside for a second so I can stick her in between a rack here tuck her in tight use my little push pin She's tucked in. So I'm just gonna do it the easy way this year. Last time I like bumped it and dumped them and all this rigmarole. Nope, not gonna do that. This is our feed. There's still quite a bit in here. So I'm just going to set this in the box. There's feed in here too. I did fill the feeder. I don't have room for their other feeder because I'm just putting their box in here. I had to figure out what to do with their little feeder here. Because there's feed in it. I don't have room on top. Hmm. I don't know think on that. They could put their feeder outside, I suppose. Just sit it here and they could feed from it. I think I'll just do that. I think I'll just set it out here. I'm just going to brush all this off, take the lid off, and close it. Maybe I'm not. Shoot. I gotta move it this way a little bit. Wow, that didn't work as easy as I thought it was going to. There, that'll work better. Now I can take that little wood off. Now they can just find their queen. She's in there. All right, kids, there's your, oh, yeah. You're never gonna leave that little thing, are you? Oh, let's just take it out of there. This isn't your hive.
maybe do. Now you realize that's your hive in there. Not out here. Like these frames. These are the frames from last winter. I thought maybe they'd get in there and just clean them up, but they obviously don't like them. They will not get in there. There she is. She's still fine. This red dot. So we'll take these out. I don't even know what to do with these. How to cure this? Cut it out, maybe? Cut out the d damaged section? Oh, they're plastic. I don't know. Don't have a clue. These are fine. That one's fine. I got these are fine. These are pristine. Pretty much. I'll take the queen. Put her in here. I didn't realize there was two sides. We took this one out, but there's actually a second cork on the other side. I'll just leave that one there because that's the one she'll get out of. Here they are, obstinate little critters, hanging around outside. so I'm done taking them for granted. Yesterday's stain to the cheek made me realize they're not my friends. <laughs> so today, which is, I guess, the day full of three. It's the fourth day, but they really didn't get in here till Sunday afternoon, late afternoon, evening. But still, I worry about that queen being in the box so long. 
but I'm going to check her and make sure she's either out or I'll release her today. That was Sunday. Today is Wednesday evening. Um, I learned a little trick though today to keep her from flying because I've seen where um, people have opened the box and off she's gone and uh, we don't want that so I'll show you. Big old fat drone hanging around in there. Well, they're not happy to see me, so that means they like their queen. So getting them in there yesterday was definitely the thing to do. <laughs> they're bridging from, look at them all. <laughs> All right, let's see if, what we see. Is she in there? She's still in there. She is still in there. Can you see that? All right, so this is what I learned. This is just a little bit of uh, feed, feed for them. And you pour it over top of the queen. So she gets sticky. And then when you open it, she can't fly. Jeez, I guess I should have had a different tool. I could do it this way, right here. There she is. sister yep there she's down in there now she's in the hive figure out how to get this feeder in there right. Uh, we'll check her again in, I don't know, 10 days, week. <laughs> so this is Kirsten. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. More bees, more animals, more ducks. More garden, more recipes. <laughs> Have a great day. Peace out. <laughs> Bye.